Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for Pisces. Absolutely. So today we're going to be looking at a change in the wind. Now this card is a great card to get. Um, the reason I say that is that always perceived as a great card. Change is often very uncomfortable. But today we're looking at the magic of the change that's happening in your life. If you take a closer look at this picture, the zebra that you are on, you are this fairy or this house, is standing still. However, the wind is blowing so harshly through it that it's, it's causing you to have to, um, you know, hold on to yourself from, from the cold and the leaves are blowing past so quickly. It's cleaning things out for you. I take it more, I get more of a feeling like it's spirit letting you know that it's clearing out the clutter for you. Maybe the things that you haven't quite gotten around to, it's trying to help you get rid of it once and for all. So the initial blowing or the breeze of it going through and taking things away may feel very uncomfortable. But in the end, you will be very grateful that it's happened because it will give you clarity into the corners and the sections that maybe you have not been able to see. So their magic is coming in to help you. You have 12 that comes out to 3. Um, I would trust spirit in this, okay? The magic of this is I would trust spirit in helping you and being an ally here. Okay, so because there could be like things in your life that you have no control over, okay? But it's not, you're not at a time to fight these things. Um, change will happen inevitably, regardless of how much you want things to stop and be the same every single day. Um, and it is for the best, the higher good. Even if this storm or this windstorm blows away things that you thought you wanted or, or that you thought were going to be there for a very long time, all will turn out as it should. You're going to have clarity, renewed strength to do something even better. And Spirit is your ally in this. So we've been talking a lot this week about taking the old stuff and now shifting it into a new way of thinking, a new way of doing. So I do believe that's what this is, or that's what's coming through here. It's clearing out to make room for the new. And, and I feel you're feeling it, okay? In my life as well, it's not great big things of... <sighs> It's not like they're showing me a room where you walk in and it's white the next day you walk in and it's like red. Where you're going, holy crap, what happened? It's more like a nuance where you have gone into this white room and the next day you walk in and you can, you can tell there's a hint of color, but it's like one of those pastel that's mixed in with the whites, diluted so much that if you're not looking carefully, you would miss it. And I feel that every day these colors are changing in this room. And you are picking up on it, which is fantastic. But it's not enough to um, completely change your life from one day to the next. But enough to start shifting it in a way that you can feel it. And every once in a while you get a glimpse of the really vibrant color that's, that's, that's coming through. Okay? So this one was, was important to talk about. Let's take a pure magic oracle since we are dealing with magic day.
I do two readings of A Pisces, and I pull two cards on Sunday for every day. So if you're interested in seeing both readings, please subscribe, hit that notification bell to all. Okay, so these didn't fall out, so I'm not, I'm being very annoying this week that I want the cards to be fall out of the deck, not just flip in my hands. There. <laughs> and when I say that, they usually over dramatically throw the card out. <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right, drawing down the sun. Wildfire, Divine Masculine, Magnificence, and Witness. And you have this beautiful number 22. It's gorgeous. Nice card. Nice, nice card to have. Okay, so let's see if I can find the little book that goes with this. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I am going to hazard a guess and say from the color of the card that we are dealing with fire energy. Um, these cards have different colors and they have um, different meanings and of course so it's the fire element and it says when the sun rises we feel the blazing radiance of its glory and grit of gift of grit and gift of renewal mm, grit there's a word okay and when it begins to set along the edge of earth we see its creative artistry richly painted across the sky in use of red pinks orange purples and yellows okay i was talking about a pastel room with colors <laughs> just pointing out the obvious if a blanket of love upon us before the moon awakens the night. The sun was our first father, our collective teacher of time and comfort. The very power of the sun speaks to us of the power of gods. Not merely a pure masculinity as we know it, but an incredible driving force that is inherent in all of us. The sun's magic provides protection, warmth, growth, and hope. And yet it can also provoke caution, as it can burn as well as enlighten. Sometimes we need to call in the God's powers to assist us in areas we cannot handle ourselves. When this card arises, you're being asked to look outwards in your life and reflect on the ramifications of your choices and to evaluate whether or not you are continuing a path of personal truth and following the path or following the path of another. So again, what you've been thought and what you're going to implement in your own life. We're dealing with the old going into the new Pisces, okay? It is not to say that you cannot be encouraged by others with love, but you must be sure to choose your path so that it aligns with your personal spiritual purpose in life and living. The sun celebrates your successes and rejoices in the delight of your efforts and goals. It can recharge your auric field and strengthen your inner magic. Inner magic? Sometimes it's a reminder to help others, especially if they cannot help themselves. Will you be their light now, or are you building up energy so you can blaze with fury abandon? Remember, there is no power the sun cannot handle, and you, the child of life, can yield its essence to change your situation. With the sun, you can build your confidence when you are feeling burnt, raise your spirits when you're feeling dark, assert your dominance when you're feeling stifled, and ignite your passions and command your heart to beat strong and proud whenever you feel there seems no other choice to make but defeat. The sun is the original spark of creation, and that flame burns in you. The sun warmly invites you to view the situation from its perspective. Illuminate the path for yourself and blaze a trail for others. Be patient with your inner flame and make sure not to burn bridges. Take hold of your masculine form and prepare to fight for what you believe in. If you need a boost to a situation, the sun will set you free. There you go. So, clearly indicating that the sun is now in your path, shining the way. The wind is blowing out the old, the sun is putting clarity in all the corners. So you're seeing a full view of everything. Isn't that wonderful? Whether you know what to do with it or not, it doesn't truly matter. As long as you are aware, we practice an awareness. We're not practicing in perfection, Pisces. 
Perfection can sometimes feel a heavy burden on us, thinking that we need to get it right every single time, or what we perceive as right. You're right for you right now. You are getting clarity and searching for answers for yourself right now, and that is perfection in itself for you. Okay. So let's pull some tarot. Knight of Wands, impulsiveness, but it didn't come out of the deck. So, I don't feel that it's you, Pisces. I feel that you are on a trajectory of a slower pace, of really looking at things for what they are, okay? The Emperor, maturity. Yeah, I feel more a fact that you are bringing stability in your life, that you are... Um, Less of structure, though, even this, because I feel like the Emperor sometimes, he's very uh, settled into his power, his energy, his structure, his seat. And sometimes I can make him unmoving. So I feel that this also is not your energy, okay? We'll see if they come back out. Oh, <laughs> Four of Swords. Recuperation, yes. This, I feel, is more of your energy. Pisces. I feel that you are in a in almost a hermit like but not really. It's it's like when you you have this when when the wind blows, you take a moment. I feel that you take a moment to see, wow, what was that? Like I felt like something, you know, pushed me over, really, you know, swept my energy out. I do feel that your energy every once in a while gets flattened out. Um but I feel that it's like a cleaning. It's like a, a what they're showing me is if you've um, exercised or done a lot of work and you're somebody who gets, you know, like your muscles and your body gets tired because you've done a lot of work. The day after or two, three days after, you need to rest it out. And I feel that's what you're doing. It's like you're doing really great work. You have a high of energy. You use it very well. And then you need a time to just kind of you know, step back and recuperate and think about what's happened and what you've done. But I feel a sense of gratitude and happiness and a lot of, um, you feel accomplished in what you've done. So it's not a bad recuperation. It's not like um, getting over something that was bad. It's more like it, it's reflection. So it might be very much like the Emperor vibe. Okay. The magic of the situation is that, to take it in stride, to be the King of Cups, okay? <laughs> Knight of Wands came out again. So, definitely wanted to be in, yeah. I don't feel that it's time for impulsiveness. I do feel that it's time for you to, well... Maybe the impulsiveness in happiness, happy things. Um, let me take another card with that. I'm going to take another card just to make sure, you know, even Jane make, wants to make sure that the messages are on the right. Because I haven't felt, I don't feel that you're fighting for a challenge, right? So this is more fun things, okay? I feel that it's rise to the challenge of nurturing the stuff that you like, not rise to the challenge of things that um, that are difficult. If that makes any sense, that's what I'm getting. It's like it's not it's not time to cause challenges. If that makes any sense, like you you're not making problems or stepping into them. What they're showing me is like stepping into a circle of people who are causing drama. Uh, they're saying like, no, they're putting like an X, don't. Walk out of that and instead step into a circle of people who are trying to creatively, creatively, is that even a word? 
creatively, oh yes it is, it's just saying it wrong, creatively nurture um, new ways of doing, okay? It's like stepping out of the old into the new. It's the same thing in a different way. Because here I'm talking about, I was talking about teachings, like what your parents taught you and now you've taken what you can um, and dispelled the fears, cleared up all the misconceptions, and now you're going to use what you have plus implemented the new things. But this is also re um, talking about uh, you and interaction with other people because like I said, in December we're coming into the month where people will be interacting a lot more with each other because of the holidays. So instead of stepping in that same old group of people who are like gossiping, drama, same old stuff, right now you're going to pick a different route. Okay, you're going to meet up the challenge but for to walk away from drama and walk into something more um, um, What's the word? I don't know. Renewable energy is what I'm getting. Something that really puts wind in your sails is what I'm feeling. I feel like there's a breath of fresh air that entered my my um, energetic field. Like a, a, a new breeze. In this breeze, you got a lot of clarity. Like you leave situations feeling a whole lot better. Oh wow, I saw the tower underneath. That one's kind of scary, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen that one. Look, there's a dragon coming out of that one. That's very interesting. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Gifts. Okay, so we have been exchanging gifts this week. I felt that that was the Six of Pentacles in one of the cards that came out. This is the same thing. This is a gift from Spirit and a gift from you to you, Pisces. Let's face it. You are a spirit as well. Okay? If you left your physical body, you could be guide to somebody. You could ascend to become, you know, a, a spirit guide to somebody. You, you, you're, you're part of that energy. We like to separate ourselves, like sometimes I used to do it. I'm a lowly human and have all these wonderful, you know, higher guides or helping. I'm part of the I'm part of the recipe of that, and so are you. So now you're giving yourself a gift of exchanging the stuff that you learn for better, bigger, brighter, more in tune with you, more in tune with your energy field. It's still a, um, a it's still a work in progress and probably will always remain. There will always be something that you're working on for yourself. You're going to hit moments where you say, oof, that felt like a little bit of a backward step. But you're generally always going in the direction of growth. It's also the card of balance, the Six of Pentacles, personal balance. You guys know that I love the Six of Pentacles for us. It shows a balancing act of, of on a very personal level. Seven of Swords, Betrayal, okay, so that was not, didn't fly out of the deck. Um, it's protecting your energies as well from negativity. Okay, don't steal away your sunshine, I would say. Um, okay, you have the Knight of Swords spontaneity. You have playfulness and spontaneity that comes out. You have a lot of night energy that's coming out today. I, I feel as well, like I said, with that energy of air just passing through, giving you like that fresh air, I feel that they're trying to say that you're going to be, yeah, the Queen of Wands. You have passion here as well. I feel a very light-hearted energy taking over as your magic, as this fresh breeze, you're going to welcome it more than anything when it comes in because it gives you a fresh new perspective on different things. You're not going to feel, you're not going to feel fear over it. It's going to give you brand new uh, spring to your step. Um, it's going to make you invigorated. Look at that. You have the star coming in again. Mental complex came out, but it was under, so like this. Um, I'll, I'll leave it out. 
but because it's, I feel that it's under like hiding, it's almost like it's saying that you have to keep that stuff in check. Okay, the anxiety that you bring yourself, especially when the winds of change come in, it's all done for um, a reason. Like I said, at right at the beginning, change isn't easy. It doesn't always feel good. It's not always very comfortable. But what you have to make sure is, is work on this. Having said that, I'd like to remind you that um, I, I, I am putting posts um, in the membership as well as Patreon. You get the same videos. I post once a week. I may post more. But I'm doing like a mini video course of of how to relax, how to turn off the mental conflict, the stuff that we like to do to ourselves. I'm doing something for myself because I, it's something I struggle with as well. And I know that a lot of people do too. It's how to switch it up in your brain and how to help yourself get unstuck from those terrible thoughts so that you can let better energy through, um, which will help you have more of an abundance mindset as well and also help you connect to your guides and angels because you need a higher vibrating energy for them to make uh, contact with you okay because they're always there but we're the ones sometimes blocking the contact with the way that we feel so I'm just going to leave that there. There's three different levels. There's uh, around $3, 6 and 9 or $2.99, um, $5.99, and $8.99 on YouTube. And it doesn't matter which one you get on. So even if you're at the lowest one, you still get the same video. So it's a real deal, I feel, anyway. And it helps me, and it helps you, and you have access to it at all times if you want to go back and look at it. So, um... Yeah, if they're not out there, I know I'm in the process of making them. So keep an eye out on them for them. Um, I will like also advertise it in the community post. All the videos I post are going to be in the community post for members and channel members. So um, to let you know when the videos are up and what they're about. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. And I will be back later on for the second reading, my beautiful ones. The star, don't forget to tap into your wishes. So, I'm going to tell you right in the comments right now, keep tapping into your wishes. I will keep tapping into my wishes. Write that in the comments. I will keep tapping into my wishes. All right, beautiful ones. I'll see you later. Take care.